Hello, my name is Andrew Chafin, and I am the assistant of Devonshu Krista Jacobson at the Budaru Ninjutsu Dojo. Today, I'm going to go over the Sampo Hiden of the Tomoru. These are a collection of three sets of rules that are to be understood when training in the Tenshi Jin Ryaku no Maki of Tomoru. These fundamental principles are the foundation of thought and are to be expressed and demonstrated through training. In the Tenshi Jin, there are three sets of training. You have the Tomoru Chi Tan Jupo, the Tomoru Jin Tan Jupo, and the Tomoru Ten Tan Jupo. The first section of the Tomaru Tenshijin Keiko is the Tomaru Chi Tanjupa. From this section are the five laws or the five shinobi kun of earth that are taught within the Kuden. Never judge anyone by what they do for a profession. Everyone has specific skills that can be utilized to help provide for their family. Just the same, everyone has specific likes and dislikes, and what one does for their profession should not be a judgment of who they are, but only understanding of what the person does. Nobody is set to one thing. Everybody has multiple things they like to do, be it different activities, hobbies, and interests that are in our life. It's only a part of what makes us complete and doesn't even touch on what actually determines our quality as people. Also, just because you may be into a specific thing, it doesn't detract or enhance your abilities in something else. For me, I'm into collecting and selling antiques and collectibles. Just because I'm into collecting and selling antiques, it doesn't mean I can't master a martial art. Though of course it works the other way as well. Just because you have a college degree in history, it doesn't mean you can understand a martial art. You should never measure a person by what they do as a profession for whatever reason. It is only a shallow measurement. Always live your life to be happy, even if it goes against the common thought of society and the current social standards. At the end of your life, when you take your last breath, you will want to know that you lived your life honestly, without regrets, with the happiness from your own heart. One and two can mix together in the fact that just because someone doesn't have a high monetary life for social standards, it doesn't mean that they aren't completely happy. When Sensei talks about you needing to travel your own journey, she means it. Clearly, as a profession, she's into nude modeling and erotic dance, but she also teaches martial arts because that's what she feels that she needs in order to be happy. You should always respect people's life choices if you expect people to respect your own. You only have one life, and when it's over, it's over. Every time you take the time to hate on someone or belittle someone, you're taking away time that you could spend with a loved one or do something you really like to do. It's so easy to get caught up with trying to compete with other people and trying to be one step ahead of the game, trying to make more money that we forget to figure out and go after what would actually make us happy. Understand the difference between knowledge and wisdom. This is a must for all samurai. I have a simple question I want to ask all of you. Would you rather have your heart surgery done by a surgeon that's done countless surgeries or someone who has no experience and has only read about it? When it comes to martial arts and war, it's the same thing. Think about it. Never use your warrior skills for greed or personal gain. This action shows your mental weakness and the weak understanding of the warrior way. Before I talk about this one, I want to read a quote from Sendai Bomochi. Ninjutsu is not something which should be used for personal desires. It is something which should be used when no other choice is available, for the sake of one's country, for the sake of one's lord, or to escape personal danger. If one deliberately uses it for the sake of personal desires, the technique will indeed fail totally. Now the entire idea of using your skills is to serve. Out of all the people who claim to be Ninjutsu Sokes, Hatsumi Soke, Tanamura Soke, Kawakami Soke, and Anshu Soke, all four clearly would prefer to be well-liked because they are teaching martial arts to the public. However, you see many people demanding to see their scrolls. Even though they have a passion for the arts, the principle has to remain. They are not about to prostitute their arts for public respect. Never put passion over principle. The arts have always been taught from teacher to student and should always remain that way. Perfect the art of Kyojitsu. There is a difference between truth and fact, and the understanding of these differences is crucial for all samurai. Don't get wrapped up in all the bull, even your own. What you need to focus on is the end result of what it is that you're a part of and take the face off the situation. If you're producing quality students that are respectable members of society, then you have a leg to stand on when you talk, because you're dedicating your skills to serving others. When the only thing you're getting is personal satisfaction or money out of a situation, then it's nothing more than that no matter what you say. When looking at the end results, you cannot pretend it's anything else.